Ford with Fournette. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Eluding the pressure right. And it's incomplete. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> They'll run it here. This is James White. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. And now White. Not sure exactly what happened, but he's still down. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Throwing is Brady on third down. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Here we go. Grand 38. Grand 38. Cut. Fournette, a first down carry. Down to the 25. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. Here we go. They'll run it again with four and a half. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. it on third down and he's gonna go down they sack him back right around the 30 to here whitehead in there to drop him for a loss of 10 and it'll be fourth and long here's dustin hopkins now to try the field goal from the left hash this from 46 and hopkins kick is good and the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us want to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. This will be fielded at the eight. 
And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. So the D-line's going to spread out. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throw a complete right side to Cooks. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Throwing on first down is Brady. And that's complete to Cooks. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. There's a carry now for Mike Gillisley. And, oh, he is really laid out that time. Knocked flat on his back, right at the line of scrimmage. And while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity may have to go out the window, and they've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On second down, here's Brady. Wide open, Gronkowski. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Well, there it is, partner. Brady to Gronk, their first connection of the game. You think those two often in sync? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any question about it. And look, we know Gronk has a whole lot of fun, but he's deadly serious about his football, as is Tom Brady. Two great competitors, two fantastic players. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Brady now to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Julian Edelman, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Jags. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. On first down, Watson. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. On second down, he's Fournette. 
And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Alongside the former defensive back Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Jaguar football as we begin quarter number two. They're up against a third and two to start things out. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll run it now out of the gun. Touchdown, Jaguars! Dre Archer, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. Well, they were just hoping that run would pick up the first. They got the whole enchilada. And I'm so used to teams on third down. Doesn't matter how far they need for a first down, throw them the ball. Instead, they run it. And as you said, pick up the first down and then some and then some. <laughs> In fact, everything all the way for a touchdown. Terrific play. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Shift together here from the D-line. This is Gillisley. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. down flushed out right and some space here and he'll be brought down right at the 45 yard line the improv on the scramble there gets him six and it'll be second down now that was not a bad scramble there on first down he didn't force it nor did he throw it away he was able to take off and now he made it a very manageable second and short it's caught left side by cooks and he is out of bounds inside the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. On first and 10, here's Brady. Looking deep downfield. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Yannick Ngakwe. In there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and loss. They'll fake the give to Gillisley and now Brady. And that is incomplete. 
Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Back deep, Dre Archer. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They begin with a run by Fournette. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The best defensive lineman. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on the play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. A gain of 32 that time. up flat on his back right at the line of scrimmage and now we'll get a timeout looks like we've got a jaguar in some discomfort down there on the field while the trainers take a look we'll step aside and this one goes nowhere losing yardage on the play back at the 46 it's a loss of two now third down I'd say the staff that's up in the booth watching the game, they may want to file that one away. See how fast the free safety closed to make that play? Might want to check into a throw the next time. Two running plays go backwards. So what's the call on third and 13 now? From the gun, here's Watson. Escaping the pressure right. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. To here, Whitehead. In there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. Nortman on to kick as he sends it away. Oh, boy, he fielded it right on the goal line. Well, nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And the Patriots take over. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And the two-minute warning lurking. This will probably be the last play before we hit it. Yeah, they want to get themselves in position to score in this last shot before the clock hits. Brady now on first down. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 29. And they will score. It's a Jacksonville touchdown. Well, you start to feel sorry now for the young man throwing the football. This is really turning into a disaster. Listen, it's baptism. All right, this is almost a rite of passage. This young in the league, go back and find a Hall of Fame quarterback and check their records for their first two years, especially if they started the bulk of the games. I bet you'll find double-digit interceptions on just about every one of them. They have to learn as they go along. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Second down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. And on second and 10 now. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Brady. Wide open receiver complete. Brandon Cooks. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Brandon Cooks. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Patriots get a score closer. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Santos out now. He'll kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. here back at the 21 yard line a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down well that's the big drawback to this play even if somehow the quarterback pitches it he's not immune to the big hit in this case he kept it and absorbed it anyway they'll motion the tight end across the formation Watson now on second down. The left side completion to Jones. He's at the 30. 10. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Julio Jones as the first half is winding down. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Patriots. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Brady now on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard, and it's second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this you're is going to do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. Uh, we'll see if that script is a good one for them. Here's Brady. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. Come on, let's go! Oh, let's go! Tight door, tight door, tight door. Little motion now from the tight end. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of four. Now third down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. Third and long. It's Watson. It's caught. Jones. And we'll get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Julio Jones with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Jags take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the foot, Ball. He's going to have a first down. Now Gillisley. 
They find some open field here. And he is knocked down and then landed on pretty awkwardly at the 49. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Second down following the incompletion. Play action. Now it's Brady. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Shotgun now for Brady. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Calais Campbell in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. Here's Ryan Allen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here's Archer. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? Who? You and me <laughs> trying to get to the airport. That's the roads true. will be fairly that, clear that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. Here's a carry now for Keith Marshall. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. See if they stay on the ground for second down. The play clock's running down. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Second is Watson. And he's brought down after a good game. That one goes for 24 yards. Now he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. 
Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. Try the end around. Oh, looting the tackle. And he's got Rome. And there he goes again. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And this carry, despite the good move, will be stopped short of the 10. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, of one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. Second down following the run. Now they'll run it on the toss. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the 5-yard line. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and three. Here we go. We got three. We got three. We got three. Oh, a design run for their wide out. And he spins through. And he'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Marquise Goodwin, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Jaguars continue to roll. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. So the Patriots coming out now. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side <laughs> because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. Here's Gillisley. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 14 yards is the pickup there in a New England first down. It's really come into vogue to talk about the different gaps that the defense tries to attack in an offensive line. And most of the time we're talking about blitzes. How many times have you heard double A-gap blitz? Well, where is the A-gap? It's the space between the center and the guards, either side. So when you're having a double-A gap blitz, that's two guys coming through that gap. In this situation, though, that A gap wasn't open for the defense to exploit. The offensive line took care of it, 
protected it, and moved the defensive guys out of the way to allow for that nice run. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. From midfield, here's Brady. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. On first down, Brady. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Yannick Ngakwe in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. Now Brady throwing on second down. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. On third and long, it's Brady. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be fourth down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Now Brady got to have this one. He's got the hook up to Lee. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. A big play there for the Patriots. 32 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. On play action, now Brady. Right side, that's complete to Gronkowski. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. New England on third down. Not good, 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 7. Brady on third down. And that's caught by Gronk for a Pats touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, his second touchdown on the season. And the Pats able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. Now the point after try for Santos. Santos. 
And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars getting set to go. And Charles, in a very one-sided affair, I think we've reached the point in the broadcast where you and I, <laughs> we may have some filling to do, right? Yeah, I think you're right about that because we got to try to keep people around. We don't want them to change the channel. Stay with us in this game. Is that Ben Ramsar? Are you hearing from Ben on the headset here? Tell yeah. us, stretch, stretch this thing out a little bit. <laughs> get some talking points. Dig them all out. Uh, that's what you get, a big-time producer. Producer, keep them here. Ohio, Ohio. Let's go. Now Marshall. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Faking the give. Now Watson. Dancing to his left. And some room to work. Whoosh. And now running right through it. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down. Slow to get up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. scrimmage and taken down officially no gain on the play and it's second down and when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game should be it's hard to win a game in the nfl we hear it all the time we know that it's difficult but guess who's smiling but inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're gonna have to play again next week boss man oh without a doubt the head coach <laughs> he wants him to feel good but at the same time find a way to keep improving now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Set to return. This is Brandon Cooks. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, 
punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, we gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. Now the dual threat man. This is DJ Foster. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Give him four yards on the play, and that will lead us into the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. New England on third down. Just one for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Flush to his right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Quick hitter here, it's complete. But he will not get away. He stops short of the marker. It'll be a loss of one. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now they'll run it on the toss. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. The Jaguars on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and three. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Are you I, one of those guys I'm a little skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice, got your notes laminated, because, you know, over there, boom, that rain.